witchy favorites. I'm in all sorts of aesthetic right now. Like, I got my Halloween shirt. I got my cute little hat. I'm, I'm all of it. I just give it all to me. I'm so happy. Oh, yes. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about my current fate for fall. So, we'll start off right away, which is pretty simple. This hat. It kind of loops in for me the whole idea of that quintessential empowering witch archetype that you kind of like step into. Yeah, no, I got the hat. I don't care because I, the black hat is such a like iconic piece for a witch. Just in general, like, even the like the pointed like black brim hat is such an iconic staple for witches. And I don't know why, but like I saw this at Target, and quite honestly. To find a hat that actually fits my big ass head is near impossible, so I found it and I was very, very excited, so I purchased it. And even just wearing it, like, I don't know why, but like, I just feel a little bit more of like a badass and like, I feel like there's a little more attention on me and I don't really care, like, I'm just like, oh. Which part of that might be my little cute little courage amulet, but yeah. I don't know, current witchy favorite is a black hat to put on my head. Second thing, which is again a little bit silly and shallow or whatever else, I put this on my Instagram, you probably saw it in one of my thumbnails, is this phone case, which is The Coffee <laughs> by um, Sage and Pizza over on, or Sage Pizza, not Sage and Pizza, Sage Pizza over on Redbubble. I love like this concept and I, I don't know, I'm really leaning into more like playful aspects of the occult and tarot and witchcraft and all of that, right? Like this is totally just like a fun little empowering thing. And this is just fun and silly. Um, one, I have a very weird rule for myself, I don't know why, that I have to have something involving coffee on my phone case at all times. I don't know, like before it was always like something to do like death before decaf because no. Mm -mm. ever give me that nonsense. I was having a hard time finding something I really really liked and I was like well is it a little bit weird to get like my coffee and cauldrons thing or is that like a little bit I don't know self-absorb a bit to have my own little saying on the phone case but I don't know but I saw this one all of the coffee and the tarot and I was just like yes just all of the yes. Like, it just makes me so happy. And, like, there's another one that's like, the pizza. And there's, like, there's a couple of others that are just like, like, yes, these are the things we hold in high reverence in life. In, like, a nice little jokey, tarot cardy way. So, I'll leave links to some of this stuff down below. Third thing that I'm absolutely in love with is from Starry Eyed Supplies from the lovely Joey Morris. I ordered a Persephone, uh, I can't remember if this is like an aura spray or what exactly she had, but like one like packaging. Like look how cute that is. Oh. But it's a Persephone um, mist spray oil thing. I used it as kind of a beginning to my day. I've been sitting at my altar a lot more and attempting to contact my matron on kind of the regular-ish. I've actually put it into part of my morning routine where it's like if I like use some sort of flowery thing in my soaps or uh, any of that like I give a lot of gratitude to my matron in those moments where I'm just like any sort of flowery scent at all like just immediately connects me with her recently so I've been like ooh, I wonder what other things could I do so I was like you know what let's buy something specifically for her that'll help me connect with her on the daily so I bought this to just like pop in my purse oh this has just been like I spray this and one it smells absolutely fantastic I'm just like like all of the yes like it's such a nice slightly floral but clean scent thing going on here. But something about having something from someone else with intention in Persephone, like I tap into her a lot more in like mini meditations and I've been doing that a lot more in my car in my lunch breaks because work has been getting on my nerves uh, just with the lack of things to do and the fact that I'm not doing something that I'm really passionate about at work just kind of like drives me crazy. So having this in my purse and like having a minute to just like go down in my car, I spray this for some like some sort of sense of something and I just like try to like connect with my matron. Yeah, no, I especially because I've been doing a lot more diving, diving to the dark things like this just, oof. All of the yes for uh, Joey Morse's stuff. I've wanted to purchase something from her for a long time and I'm just like, you know what? Freaking do it. You have the money. Go do it. So I got this and I am absolutely loving it. The next thing that's a favorite of mine, which I think is kind of like, it's a bit silly. <laughs> like, I feel a little bit weird about it, but it's true. It's the freaking Rider Waite Tarot deck. <laughs> or Rider Waite? Rider Waite? Rider Waite? I always like mumble my words, so excuse me. But I had one of these decks a long time ago. This is like the classic like tarot, right? Like my first ever tarot deck was 
a uh, manga tarot that my mother had purchased for me when I was 19. And then like not long after that, someone had gifted me a right away tarot deck. Cool, but it's not as pretty as my manga tarot, so I have like no interest in it. And I have no idea whatever happened to that deck. And then when I got back into like, the craft and everything, uh, a while ago. One of the things I discovered was that my grandmother actually was really into tarot apparently when she was alive. Like she never talked about it, but like one of the things we found a bunch like of tarot decks in her closet as we were going through stuff. And one of the things that she had done is she had taken scans of the right away tarot deck and then she colored them all in herself with sometimes the color matched the actual deck and sometimes they didn't. And so I started using it as kind of like just a random daily draw thing to see what I felt and I was really vibing with it. This is interesting. And so when I took my Tarot 101 course, you know what? Part of this is like also like just looking into the imagery and really going back to like the old history of tarot. So why not start with the, the deck, right? So I picked this up and as I've been studying it and working with it and using it, I, it's very, like I didn't realize how much I would connect with it as well. Something about the images at first I was always kind of like put off by, but now as I'm just going through stuff and doing daily draws and connecting better with the deck, I am finding a lot more connection with the images and I'm feeling much more drawn to use this deck as opposed to my uh, Wild Unknown. This one has been calling me a lot more to use. So yeah, I purchased this and I'm very happy that I did because I'm using it all the freaking time now. It's an oldie but a goodie. Next thing is a crystal that I've been using nonstop, which is funny because I normally don't. It's smoky quartz. Normally I'm really vibing with clear quartz at all times um, and or labdorite seems to be like my go-to's. Mm -hmm. But smoky quartz has definitely been, this is the only piece of it that I have in my collection. Like it's not something that I use normally all the time, but something about the vibe of having clear quartz's like neutral energy leaning into like it's like just like the transition to something a little more dark a little more shadowy i like picked it up and started putting, looking to more of the associations and stuff with it and then i just naturally have been leaning a lot towards it when i'm doing any sort of base ritual like not necessarily so much of a intention i'm just kind of like meditating on things or whatever at my altar i'll light something in my cauldron or i'll uh, light a candle and then i'll pick up a crystal and just kind of like meditate around it and this one I have been going towards a lot more recently, just constantly picking it up all the time. So I pretty much have committed to once I have saved up the amount of money that I really want to save up is I want to invest in some more smoky quartz in my craft. So my last favorite for this lovely video is the fact that Meggie L. Ram of Witch and Moon, who has been putting out gorgeous, beautiful videos for quite a while now about her uh, lovely oracle deck that she's been doing called the traditional witch deck is finally on Kickstarter and I am so excited. It's kind of one of the things where I'm just like, oh, look at the pretty, look how pretty. When I saw that she was teaming up and doing a deck with somebody, I was like, yes, all of the yes. And so I saw like all the like introduction videos on her channel about it and I was like, yes, yes, yes. When is this coming? When is this coming? And so she finally announced that yes, it is out I'm up on Kickstarter. You can go support it. So I have definitely gone and backed the deck. I will leave a link down below. It is just like, let's see if I can bring some of these up on my phone. I love the style that they're in. Like this is on her Instagram. Like these cards are just absolutely beautiful. The flying ointment one, yes. Like, oh, like these just look so awesome. I'm so, so, so excited. Plus I've been looking into Oracle decks for a while thinking like, oh, hey, you know, maybe that's something I should purchase. Like just dabble in it just a little bit, but I have to like find a deck that I connect well with. And the fact that it was like announced kind of felt like the universe was just like, we got you. Here you go. Here's the thing you've been waiting for this whole time. Anyway, those are my current favorites that I have been rocking out with. Comment down below what's something that you've been using a lot in your practice and or just loving for the fall all the time. Maybe something aesthetic like my hat. Anyway, this is part of Utober, so I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.